Hello strength habits people and welcome to my first vlog video of this channel. In this series of videos, I'm gonna take you deeper into my strongman journey, showing you parts of my everyday life. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Pavlos, I'm from Cyprus and I live in London for the past 6 years. I have a passion for the sport of strongman and I'm competing in national and international events the past 2 years. My latest achievements are becoming UK strongest man under 90 kilos in 2022 and defended my title in 2023 as a champion in two years in a row. That qualified me for world strongest man under 90 kilos in 2023 where I've achieved second place in the world. In a different series of competitions in 2023, I qualified for world strongest natural man under 100 kilos and finished third. Needless to say, I love the sport of strongman, both as a fan and as an athlete. Now that we got this out of the way, let's jump into my first day of the week. Today is Monday. I usually wake up and go straight downstairs to the kitchen to start my meal prep. Today I'm cooking some rice, shrimps and broccoli. For breakfast I usually have scrambled eggs, mushrooms and two slices of toast with butter and jam. I just finished meal prepping. Right now it's Monday morning, packing everything in my backpack, heading to the gym downtown that I work. For those who don't know, I'm a personal trainer at Common Garden in London. Uh, I train people in the gym in the morning hours on Mondays. Finish around 2, maybe 3 o'clock, depending on how many people I have. And then I head to my gym, home gym, and I do my training. So today's goal is to squat, front squat, and do some snatches. I'll get more into detail for that later during the workout. See you guys. Um, just finished work, heading to the gym. Today's plan is front squat. I'm posing in the hole for five seconds. Uh, and I'm going for a max single today. I'm gonna throw some bands as well. So my goal is to get around 160 maybe, maybe 170 if it's a good day. So let's see, yeah, I'm walking to towards the house right now, Vauxhall Park, it's a beautiful little park, I like to walk and clean my head just before my workout. Might have another coffee, get my energy up and start training. After my squats I have uh, snatches, recently started doing some snatches in this block of training with my coach and learning a new skill is something something else is it, it feels nice learning learning again feeling like a beginner like a novice especially when you're when you're an experienced guy in the gym you don't get to have that kind of kick from learning something new and progressing fast again you know usually progress is much slower but with something new you can progress so much faster i feel like i'm learning every session i have a lot of good people in my corner weightlifting coaches strongmen, uh, people in the community that I'm sending videos to and they're reviewing my technique so I can get better every time. So yeah, let's see how that would go as well. See you guys in the gym. I have my setup ready to start front squatting in this workout. Some of you might be wondering why I'm opposing that long, both at the bottom and the top of my squats. Let's start with the bottom pose. As a strongman athlete, you need strong legs for loading events like sandbags and stones, also for heavy log cleans and overhead press. The long poses force you to maintain good posture and positions before exploding up, just like a stone load or a sandbag load. It's a specific training method to get better at my strongman events. The more balanced and perfect my reps look, the more efficient I am with my power output on the implements. As for the pose at the top, 
it imitates perfectly the front rack position before pushing a heavy axle over lock overhead. Holding at the top and trying to be tight whilst breathing transfers to yoke walk as well. The whole body needs to be stable and tight as you carry the heavy yoke. These front bar holds are quite similar to that, especially if you attach some bands on the bar as well. I hear some of you asking, why don't you just do your strongman events more frequently then? This would make sense for someone who never tried strongman events before. A heavy yoke, for example, could take days to recover from, so you can't really train it more than once a week. With squat variations, you can increase your events practice without actually doing them. Hope it makes sense. As you see here, I got to 160 kilos on my top single of the day, then dropped to just 90 kilos for another three sets of three. After squats, I do my hang snatches. The past 10 weeks, I've been working in this new skill and I'm pretty happy with the process. It's very fun to practice and learn every session, and it requires a lot of speed, power, but also thinking. Today I was doing four snatch pulls and then one hang snatch. Lots of ingraining the movement pattern and learning how to drop under the barbell quick enough. Still lots to learn, so more fun to come here. I finish off my session with some conditioning. As you watch me suffer, I'll tell you more about my first event of the year. My next event is a qualifier event in Southern England. The date of the event is the 18th of February and the top three athletes qualify for England's strongest man. In the next video, I'll go through the events of the competition and my personal goals for each of them. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next one.